Roy Lichtenstein. He often parodied real things in a comic style, like this one of Mickey Mouse and Donald Dunk from 1961. This is the painting that the artist called his first pop painting. So, in a way, his career begins here, and it's at the beginning of our exhibition. It was a shocking painting at the time. It's not shocking now because we're so used to pop art. But at the time, the idea of taking a frame from a comic strip Lichtenstein was born in New York in 1923. He became famous for his bright and bold paintings of comic strip cartoons, as well as his paintings of everyday objects. He was part of a group of artists in the 1960s known as pop artists. These artists made art about popular things such as TV, celebrities, fast food, pop music, and cartoons. In the 60s and 70s, he applied his signature style to parodies of other early modern artists. A parody is when you take something and you make your own unique copy of it. But you do it, you, you're taking the original, but then you're making it yours. You're giving it your own style, your own flair, your own way of doing things. You are on your own. I'll choose the best place for you to sleep. Come back to see the day you lost. artist Robert Rauschenberg and Andy Warhol turned images from popular culture into art. Its name, pop art. His early works from the 1960s included screen prints of Mickey Mouse and Popeye. His source material for the painting In the Car, 1962, was an image from Girls' Romances, an anthology by DC Comics. Here he presents an image of contemporary America, through appropriating images from mass culture. So like his father, says Mitchell Lichtenstein, to use clean, futuristic images to gently poke fun at the chaos of reality below.